Hey, this is Santana Moss, and these are my top five trash talkers. At number five, we know this guy well, especially in Washington, uh, Roy Williams from the Dallas Cowboys. Roy Williams was one of those guys that, you know, he didn't come off that much as a trash talker to everybody, but when you're out there, you know, uh, in between those lines and going at war, play out the play, you will hear this guy a lot. So Roy Williams would be number five for me. At number four, I didn't get the chance to play this guy, um, you know, that often, but when we did, man, it was always an earful. Adam Pac-Man Jones. Uh, and I also give him the nod because, you know, although we had a lot of respect, you know, amongst each other, uh, I've watched his game, you know, very closely, uh, being that he's a smaller guy and he went out there and, and carried his own throughout all his career. So uh, I will put him at number four. At number three, none other than my teammate, the mouth of the South, Fred Smoot. <laughs> I have to give, I have to put Fred in there because not only did, you know, our introduction to each other uh, was surprisingly, um, I was overwhelmed by him. Like I, I actually met him as a junior at the uh, Play Ball American experience that we had together out of town. And I came back to South Florida to Miami telling the world, telling all my teammates in Miami that this guy, you know, up in Mississippi, Fred Smoot has so much to talk about and, and about everybody else. So, and then end up being teammates with him. And still to this day, man, we good friends and Fred know how to uh, bump them gums. So Fred Smoot would be at uh, number three. At number two, I got Rodney Harrison there. Uh, Rodney Harrison, I saw a lot of him when he was with the Patriots, when I was with the Jets. You know, if you wasn't a guy that was prepared for some of the stuff that he would do to get you out your game, you know, you can easily be, you know, uh, taken out of your game by a guy like that. He was, he was one of those guys that when you look at Sean Taylor's game, the way he, how Sean hit guys, Rodney was that kind of a hitter, but also he would talk, try the best to talk you out of the game. He was a guy that kind of gave me the, um, the, the, I guess you can say what I was looking for as a young player to let me know that I was pretty dope. Because every time we faced those guys, you know, he would always, you know, uh, give me a little, you know, pat on the back, like, you know, keep doing what I'm doing because he was very impressed. So he's number two. And number one, I got to give it to uh, Richard Sherman. <laughs> this, this dude here, man, like, you know, he's another guy I didn't play uh, that often. But when I did, man, I mean, man, it, I don't even think he knew the, half the time what he was talking about. But he was a great talker and not just a great talker. He, he actually showed up and played well also. So I tip my hat off to all those guys. You know, not only that these guys are big trash talkers, all these guys play at a high level, you know, in our league.